If you look to the right of the garage, a couple hundred yards back is where Chief Tuckamurgan had his wigwam. Farther north of that was where the Lilinapi Indians were. The story of this property begins around the time of the Lilinapis. A couple years later is when Johann Philip Case arrived at the farm from Germany in 1730. Much of the land in this section of New Jersey and Pennsylvania was owned by William Penn. He then passed away in 1718, and the land was passed on to his three sons, John, Thomas, and Richard. They started to subdivide this property and sell it to others who were interested. So Johann Philip Case came back to where you are staying today and bought the land from the Penn sons. As a matter of fact, the land they owned stretched across the Walnut Brook and toward Flemington. It clearly began here and comprised of a couple hundred acres. Soon, Johann Philip came out here with his family and immediately began to build a log cabin. The cabin once stood where the garage in front of you is now located. To your right would be where the spring was once located. There would have been a log cabin right here and Johann Philip Case was able to farm this land because he got a lot of help from the Lilinapis. The story is that when Case came here, he had a family and two very small infant-like children. Chief Tucker Murgan and his wife were childless, so they liked having the Case babies over at their own home. They hauled out a log and used it as a crib. The Tucker Murgans kept the babies in it as if it were a bassinet. The Cases did get along very well, and the Lilinapis would help farm the land and clear it. There was a story about a blue pipe given by Tucker Murgan that was passed down through the Case family for several generations. In fact, when Chief Tucker Murgan passed away, he was buried in the Case family cemetery on Bunnell Street. The tradition was to bury a person standing up, and there are stories about how some Lenny Lenapis danced around the grave during the evening. There is a monument of Chief Tucker Murgan. It isn't actually the gravestone, but it is a symbol of the cemetery as a whole. He played such a huge role in this farm's history and was honored at this special cemetery. But back on the farm, Johann Philip Case lived here and helped farm the land. He had to do everything he could to keep the grounds moving. People were salting meats to get their winter, preparing clover and corn, and anything else that people could grow. Please move around the well and into the grass area on the left near the bench. He had his log cabin here and it was a stable in the early 1800s. We are not exactly sure what happened to it or when it was torn down. He did build his first home across the trees over on the east bank of Walnut Brook if you turn to your right. It is about where the tall pine trees are and it is now the Catholic Church property. If you carefully walk around the house to the front, you could obtain a better view of its history and features. Please walk around to the front of the house. It is the side facing the road. I will speak with you about the house and some of the families involved with the property. When you arrive, please press the next button on your device.